Uh, and today yeah. might be a good day to barbecue, <laughs> maybe in the afternoon. I would say lunchtime. Yeah, lunchtime. Yeah, lunchtime might be the, the ideal uh, pl time to barbecue because, yeah, this evening, Adriana, okay. going to be much chillier. We call it a pneumonia front uh, that will be moving through a bit later on this afternoon. So we're going to near from near 80 at lunchtime to the 50s by dinner time. Right now, though, it is quite mild across southeastern Wisconsin. We're in the upper 50s right now in Milwaukee. Some beautiful colors on our horizon as we deal with some mid and high level clouds streaming over southern Wisconsin. No rain from any of this. And honestly, we'll be hard pressed to see any rain today. A lot of dry air as this front makes its way through the region though we could shake out a spotty sprinkle or two. We're at 46 right now in Beaver Dam, 47 from Burlington to Lake Geneva, 49 right now over in Kenosha. You can see here on Storm Team 4 Max Radar, a lot of that cloud cover in our southern two tiers of counties. You go a little bit farther to the north, barely any cloud cover at all. Again, high pressure is in play. A lot of the rain staying down to the south across portions of central Illinois. So for today, yes, our high temperature in Milwaukee, I'm expecting to climb into the mid and even upper 70s. Those places, though farther inland, could actually get into the lower 80s. So all of this happening, folks, probably around lunchtime, noon, one, perhaps two o'clock in the afternoon. And then we're going to see a big change in these numbers that you have there once this frontal boundary makes its way in from the north and the east. So what is all this called? The pneumonia front. It was a term coined by our National Weather Service office back in the 60s. Uh, it is something unique to the Great Lakes and especially those of us on the west side of Lake Michigan. It's a lake enhanced uh, cold front. So we've got this cold air that plunges down. You add that into the fact that our water temperatures are still in the 40s. This is uh, bringing a lot of colder air and very quickly into southeastern Wisconsin. So by this afternoon and early evening, those temperatures are really going to take a plunge. So again, around noon, one o'clock, we get the numbers into the 70s to near 80 degrees, and then it will not take long for that cold air to plunge into the region. So we're talking within the span of one to two hours, we go from 70s, 80s down to 50s, low 60s, and eventually overnight, it looks like these numbers could fall back into the 40s with a few upper 30s a little bit farther inland. I also can't rule out as the front comes in a couple of spotty sprinkles. Most of us are going to stay dry, and as soon as we're done with this front, it's sunny and cooler tomorrow. At least we're back to the 60s and 70s by Thursday, and then overnight Thursday into Friday, we have another cold front to deal with, which could bring us the chance for a few scattered showers and perhaps a few rumbles of thunder. Once uh, all that is done, the good news, sunshine for the weekend, highs in the 60s. Adriana?